New at 5 o'clock tonight, an old whipping post in Waterbury is causing controversy tonight. You can see here a demonstrator trying to remind people of what that post was used for during slavery. Well, that post has been there on the Waterbury Green for centuries, and at many times it has been used as a spot to hang bulletins. But that demonstration today reminding people about its history. News 8's Waterbury Bureau reporter LaSalle Blanks live tonight along the Green with that story for us. LaSalle. And the city just spent more than $2 million to renovate and reopen the Waterbury Green. They did a great job. It looks beautiful out here. However, I want to show you that one feature that is causing a lot of controversy out here because it's stirring up memories from a painful time from our past. This No comment from City Hall today, but people at the Green are talking, and they are not happy and haven't been since pictures of a performance art demonstration depicting an African-American woman whipped here as a form of punishment were posted on Facebook recently to show what used to happen here during colonial times. This here is like a smack in the face of black people. Yesterday afternoon, city leaders asked the director of the Silas Bronson Library to do some historical research to see if this was indeed a post where slaves were given public lashings by the Waterbury government as punishment if they committed crimes or broke rules. In the 1700s, every town had a whipping post in the center of town. Rachel Guest is a big Waterbury history buff. She also has a blog called Waterbury Thoughts. She recently wrote about the history of the whipping post on the Waterbury Green and shared these pictures. Guest says, yes, this was used as a whipping post, but not just for slaves. It was also used on people who couldn't pay court costs. Guest also says the town government back then also used the post as a bulletin board of sorts to post messages for the public to see. That's how you see it being used here in this old newspaper clipping in 1943. So after they stopped using whipping as a form of punishment, they kept using the whipping posts for posting notices. Guest says current city leaders told her that's what they thought it was used for, posting notices. But that doesn't seem to calm the feelings of some here at the Green. But the name of this thing here is a beating post. There's no getting around that. That's what it was. But that's what it was designed for. It is, whether it is the original whipping post or the whipping post replacement, it is a whipping post. I did get an email from the folks at City Hall. I want to read it to you. They say, LaSalle, we are still in the process of gathering information regarding the whipping post. Until that time, we will not be commenting. When the mayor does make a comment, when the mayor does make a decision on this whipping post, we will certainly let you know what that decision is and when it happens because we will stay on top of this story. We're live in Waterbury, LaSalle Blanks, News 8.